Good afternoon YouTube, after enjoying some beautiful days in Langkawi, I'm now here in Kuala Lumpur and boarding the KLIA Express train. Which is the fastest connection from the city center to the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, some 50 kilometers away. Checking in and immigration, is straightforward and efficient here, leaving me with plenty of time to explore the airport. The airport has two main terminals, KLIA-1 and KLIA-2. I am here at KLIA-1 as I'm flying with Malaysian Airlines this time. The KLIA-2 is the low-cost carrier terminal from where Air Asia operates. Both of the terminals are about 1.5 kilometers apart and can be easily covered by a 5 minutes train journey. Enjoying now the first leg of my trip to Switzerland, which is a one-hour flight directly into Singapore. We are already on approach, and here on the right hand side, right below our aircraft, I can see the Desaru Bridge basking in the evening sun. The bridge is part of the Sinai Desaru Expressway and was opened in June 2011 and is the longest river crossing in Malaysia, with 1,700 meters from side to side. As well as the longest single plane cable stayed bridge in the whole of Malaysia. Just landed at Singapore's Changi Airport, where I can enjoy an almost three hour layover. With its soaring central waterfall, forests, endless shops and restaurants, and even a sound and light show, 
all just next door at the jewels. A few hours layover here in the Changi airport is never enough. My Finnair aircraft left Singapore on time. And here, after a 13 hours flight we approach Helsinki in Finland, where I have another layover, before continuing with the early morning, and fully booked aircraft southwards to Zurich, in Switzerland. Needless to say, it was an incredibly long journey from the tropical island of Lankawi, more or less directly to Switzerland. And I am more than happy that I finally arrived at my next adventure destination here in Switzerland. Good morning from Zurich's main railway station, the Hauptbahnhof. The Hauptbahnhof here in Zurich, opened back in 1847, it was the city's first railway station, and named Bahnhof Zurich. In 1871 the station was extended and renovated to meet the ever-increasing demands for train travel. Today it is serving up to 3,000 trains per day, and is one of the busiest railway stations in the world. In the basement you will find the Shopville, a shopping mall with over 190 stores and restaurants, open 7 days a week, and thus also on Sundays, when most other places in the city are closed. So welcome to Zurich, the city of life, which was founded by the Romans over 2000 years ago, and they called it Turicum. Nowadays Zurich is the major financial and cultural center of the country and one of the most cosmopolitan and dynamic places in Switzerland. Throughout the city you can easily find green space, attractive public parks, clean rivers, a beautiful lake and rolling hills, making it a popular place to live and visit. Since I'm just a few days in Switzerland, my friends here, thankfully already prepared a quick sightseeing along the river Limmat to the lake of Zurich. All along the Bahnhofstrasse and the Limit K. As well as the unforgettable lunch, here at the highly trendy rooftop garden restaurant, offering not only French Mediterranean flavors, but a stunning city view too. Located above the Bahnhofstrasse, on top of the Globus department store, it's a restaurant and bar, offering a lush oasis above the heart of Zurich in a colorful, indoor lounge with panoramic windows. The menu up here is spectacular and inspired by a laid-back French Mediterranean Riviera taste, all prepared in the open kitchen at the center of the two restaurants. Your meal can be complemented by their vast and exquisite selection of wines, with an array of both classic and surprising cocktails. Definitely a worthwhile place to visit, not only for your Instagram memory but also for indulging in a delicious lunch with good friends, lasting almost the entire afternoon.
good afternoon, as everyone already knows, time is money here in Switzerland, and therefore we choose the appropriate car for our today's program. The journey leads us across the rolling hills of Zurich's Highland to the nearest highway entrance. Our adventure destination for today is to reach the Five Countries View by Rorschach, or in German language called the Fuenf Länderblick, sitting high above the Lake Constance. To reach our destination, we are now driving from Zurich to Rorschach, passing the city of St. Gallen and its beautiful countryside, all along on the highway number A1. After an almost two-hour drive, along the mesmerizing scenery, we finally arrived at the five-country viewpoint. It is famous for having the best 180 degrees of fantastic view of Lake Constance and the adjourning five countries of Vorarlberg, Bavaria, Baden, Württemberg and of course Switzerland, where we are now.
Continuing our way down the hill, as you can see, there are several viewpoint stops to enjoy the beauty of Lake Constance, bordering Germany and Austria. Next stop is the famous wellness resort, Bad Horn Hotel and Spa, near Rorschach. This well-known resort is dating back to the year of 1827. It is located directly on Lake Constance, in the canton of Fegau, and invites us to its lovely lakeside terrace, enjoying some aperitifs and delicious finger food right on the water. Ending our day, back in the city center of Zurich, at the Goethe Bar, located directly next to the Opera House and on Sexalottenplatz, a perfect place to switch off. Relax and pamper ourselves with a nice happy hour cocktail and snack, while basking in the pleasant and luxurious ambience. Before changing to our dinner place and starting with a sumptuous vegetarian dinner. Hmm, that seems to be the current hype here in Europe, where nearly everyone is going vegan. Anyway, my associate gladly introduced me to the famous Hiltel vegetarian restaurant here in Zurich, where we have our dinner now. Its homemade vegetarian dishes are all made with love, so they say. The restaurant opened in 1898, and according to the Guinness Books of World Records, it is the first vegetarian restaurant in the world, which is sporting a menu. Buffet and a la carte, of well over 100 different vegetarian choices of meals, certainly. Here is something for every palate. With this feast, of a delicious variety of yummy, all vegetarian food, I am ending here my video, thank you very much for watching and see you in part 2. Where I am exploring more of the local culture and lesser known beautiful places, all in the local Swiss way, here in Switzerland.